Okay. Doing a general reading for Bloodstained Sorrow. By the way, I love the name. It's very um, enticing, shall I say. Just a general reading. I'm just going to do my famous Friday card spread. Four cards telling what's going on, and then the fifth card being the outcome of what's coming up. Usually that's reference, usually that card symbolizes something that's coming in within two months. Right. Um, so, has something that's harmed you physically, mentally, spiritually? Are you going through some weird distressed issues and problems coming? Like um, medical bills, um, schooling, um, some, I don't know. It's taking over, whatever it is, it's taking over your life. It so far caused headaches, um, um, loss of appetite, it's caused from trauma, it is affecting, I don't know if it's affecting your work or your life, it's depression. This is, these two, these two cards, when they're together, is depression is, is here. It's... It's here because of something happened and you can't move on from it. Um, depression is, you need to, it's hard for me, it, it's easy for me to say it, but it's hard for you to do it, is you need to snap out of it. You need to find some different avenue to filter that depression out, even though your body or everything doesn't want to, you have to push it out. It's, it's, you could take all the medicine and drugs from the market and you'll still have it. Those drugs are only like suppressants. They only suppress it if if not relieve from it. But ten to one the best way to do it is 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 self healing type of thing. Push it out of you. It's gonna be a difficult heal, it's gonna be an upsurdy heal and you're gonna have like this heavy luggage behind you and you're not gonna be wanting to to go up this hill. It's just it's like Ugh, are you serious? Kind of remove it. You have the ability to to change your life. You're the, you are in control of yourself. So when this depression's around, this card, Six of Wands, this needs. It tells me to tell you that you need to push it because there's great things coming. Especially the Moon card. I mean, even though I'm, even though the Moon card is somewhat a negative kind of card. But it, it deals with depression too as well. And even though this is your outcome card and this is part of your general reading, but this card is going to triumph over these negative cards I see. You need to push it out. You need to go up that hill, push it, push depression out. Remove it from your sight because you don't need this in your life. It's stopping you from enjoying what you have now. It's stopping you from work. It stops you from social life. It starts, it stops everything. And I don't think you want that. I think you're probably a person who likes to enjoy outgoing stuff, likes to enjoy things, but that depression's kind of holding you back. I don't know what it is, but something is something is darkening your your head. There's a cloud of the haze. Remove it and you would be perfectly fine. You're actually in a good condition if you think about it. Even though this is even though this is somewhat of of a of somewhat of a a downfall reading type of thing. But there's so much because this card wouldn't come up for no reason. This card came up for a reason saying that there's other things you could do contrary in life. 
But anyways, um, if you have any more questions, I'll be happy and glad to give you more of an in-depth reading because this is somewhat of somewhat oh, okay reading. Some it's on the border of okay to not goodness. But yeah, just in depression. Um, yeah, I'll be happy to work you through it through my cards. But uh, message me. Message me. Don't comment on this video or anything. Message me and, and I'll get back to you, okay?